Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to demystify the EV road trip. We're going to show you how to plan your stop and where to stay next on Every Mile. I've owned an EV since 2019, and my wife and I have taken a bunch of road trips. This summer we went to Colorado. Before that, we have gone to the Outer Banks of North Carolina, to the Gulf Coast, all over. And we love EVs as a road tripper, but they do require just a little more planning. Let's show you how. Okay, here we are at the computer, and the best place to plan a EV road trip is a betterrouteplanner.com. This is a free site. It's also an app, so if you want to download that, I do uh, recommend it. Okay, so the first thing it prompts us to do is to select our vehicle and we will be driving a Volkswagen ID4 and we have a Pro S all-wheel drive but that isn't listed in here so I'm going to ch uh, choose the GTX and unfortunately we do not have a heat pump and we can charge it faster than 130, uh, 135 kilowatts but that is fine we are going to set our there's lots of settings here that you can choose from and if you're you in the US like I am, you might want to change the user interface to be Imperial. And we use US dollars here, so this will allow us to know how much it's going to cost to charge our vehicle on the trip. And the speed, uh, usually we go a little above speed limit. Of course, the faster you go, the more um, energy you will use. Uh, you, we can't do real-time weather without a subscription, so it's a reasonable uh, cost if you want to give it a, a try. I don't personally think it's worth uh, the money, uh, but you can make that decision for yourself. All right, thing we want to do um, is we're going to start off with 100% because we are on a trip, and we never do that except when we are on a trip. So we are starting from Cincinnati. Ohio and we are going to and again you can put in if you like you can put in a specific uh, address and we are going to Asheville North Carolina and I like to put in the date and the reason you might want to do that is a better route planner can use the average weather temperature uh, and that sort of thing for that time I like to put time in as well just because it gives me an idea of where I'll be by a certain point um, of the day if we leave by 8 a.m. so there we have it and again we can choose our charger stops I want quickest arrival uh, or, you, or you might want to stop fewer uh, times. You can do that there as well. So, and it's drawn the line, um, the direct route here. Uh, if we were flying, we could go that way. This is an interesting destination arrival. Uh, say to charge 10%. I'm comfortable with that. You can do more if you want to allow a little more uh, buffer. All right, click go. Okay, so it's defaulted to Electrify America, which is great because we are driving an ID4 and we have the free 30 minutes uh, session, so that's great. And if you want to look at more detail, you can click on the grid down here in the bottom uh, right and it'll say our first charge is at the Georgetown, uh, Kentucky Walmart, where we will arrive with 59%. We will stay there for from 9 to 9.17, so 15 minutes or so. And you can see the whole trip's 369 miles, 6 hours and 23 minutes with charging, 5 hours and 14 minutes without. And it's going to cost us $17 if we had to pay for charging. Uh, 
where are those DC fast chargers? So another site that I like to use is called PlugShare. It's also an app. I highly, re I highly recommend uh, downloading uh, PlugShare as an app. So what we want to do is uh, zoom in. We can set up the filters here. So we are looking for restricted access, and we want to look at this. We are looking for CCS. And we're going down I-75. Here is Georgetown uh, Walmart Supercenter, 112 Osborne Way. You can see a picture. I absolutely hate angled parking. This is a fine stop four plugs or four stations, but it's in the middle of the parking lot and you have to back in and that's pretty irritating if you ask me. The thing about Electrify America is the check-in. So you can see a user here. Uh, today's the 17th. So this was just yesterday, uh, November 16th, 2023. And uh, number one is 35 kilowatt hours. Number two is an error message. Um, so you can see things aren't uh, all um, rosy here. You need to download the Electrify America app as well because with the latest update it actually shows which uh, charger uh, is out of order. So is number one or number two, is it down? It shows that clearly, very clearly for the first time, which I do appreciate. Okay, and you might want to look at bailout options. So we don't really have one there. Well, we could go down to Sutherland Chevrolet if we can't get that to work, but it's doesn't get great reviews either at 4.9. Um, so we probably need to figure out how to make that work there in Georgetown. Next stop is also at a Walmart when you're traveling the country uh, using Electrify America. You need to be um, okay with going to Walmarts and Sam's Clubs. So there's two here. Uh, this is actually not where we're going to stop, but there is a bailout option here now at the pilot uh, travel station. And the cool thing about that is it has a cover, um, which I'm not sure I've ever charged at a charger with a cover. Novel idea, right? So, um, but let's see what folks are saying about that. Could not get any station to activate with app or credit card. Had to go over to Walmart, which worked. Char so, yeah, people are, it's a new station. It looks like people are having a couple uh, some issues here, but uh, we will be going to Electrify America at the Walmart. So you can scroll down here. It tells you how many plugs there are and you know what the output is. So it looks like the same gentleman was able to charge um, at the Williamsburg, Kentucky, Electrify America. Cheaper than Pilot, but meh. Well, meh is sort of the whole uh, slogan for Electrify America. All right, so that's how you would pick or check on your chargers as you're planning your trip on the highway. But what about your destination? I highly recommend that you stay at a place that has level two charging. So we are going to Asheville, North Carolina. And we want to change this from CCS to uh, J1772 and Tesla. Now these aren't the sub superchargers. This is the Tesla destination charger. I have an adapter. I will link to it um, in the description uh, that we use both at home actually and when we're traveling. And the reason you want to try to stay at uh, a place with level two is that when you wake up in the morning, you will have a full charge and can be ready to go. You can get further on that first leg. That's particularly important when you're going to continue on your road trip. But for us, uh, it's not quite as important because we know uh, that Asheville has an Electrify America station, but um, still one less thing to worry about. So if we can find it, that would be great. So one other thing you want to select here uh, in PlugShare is um, we want to find lodging. And you can see we have uh, amenities uh, filtered here. You can see that at the top. And so we can look around and see what is available. We are actually going to Biltmore. Um, it's our destination. 
and you can just see it options here. I, it's, it's great if you can have more than one, just because it gives you more insurance, right? If one dies, you might can still use the other. Um, here's one um, at the Grand Bohemian Hotel. But um, you can see, and then of course, same thing you want to see. Did someone recently check in? The last check-in I see is in May. So you can always call the hotel to double check and to see if it is working or available. Um, Candlewood Suites, Asheville Downtown. Um, again, just one. There was a check-in in October. Photos are nice when you're pulling in. Like, where is it? Um, looks like there's two there. One on each side. Foundry Hotel. Uh, that has one as well. So one looks like the uh, slow charger. That's uh, for guests. And that's another thing. You want to make sure uh, payment required. Um, a lot, most of the time, if you say to a hotel, they don't charge. But there are, of course, uh, exceptions. So... Here we are. This is the Glow, Best Western Asheville Tunnel Road. Uh, one. It looks like there was a check-in in early November. So that's basically uh, the idea. You want to look for a place to stay that does have that charging uh, capability. Well, I hope that helps. I hope that's sort of dispelled uh, some of the fear around taking your EV uh, on a road trip. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Get out there. Uh, there's just nothing better than a good old fashioned road trip. If you like what we're doing here, I appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up. That helps get the word out. And please do consider subscribing because we have lots of great uh, content uh, coming up. And if you like this video, click here to see our recent road trip to Colorado in our ID4.